Hello there, Ray here, and welcome back to the oldest vanilla survival server, Prototech. You guys can see we are still running the obsidian farm in the background. I got a couple accounts running from here all the way to the XN portal, just making that loop, producing tons of obsidian. But today, guys, we're gonna be working on some fun stuff. We're gonna actually be trying to break out a bunch of bedrock wither cages over in the overworld. Quite a while ago, I came up with some really cool designs on how to capture withers in the overworld, and they've been really popular over the years. And we're gonna go ahead and actually make some more of these bedrock cages. So in future versions, we can contain the wither without having to do anything but stick them inside of bedrock. It's very useful. Let's go ahead to spawn and check out the area. These are just my AFK counts going in circles. If I hop through here, you can see they are actually using, oh, you can see them coming out of the portal, coming out of this bed and going into the portal, pretty simple. We're here at our spawn chunks. They're all marked out. And 1011R went ahead and found all the areas where we can make bedrock wither cages. And he has already marked them out on a document. We're gonna use that document to figure out where they all are. Over here, you can see that we have some that are already cleared out. This is what they look like. It's a three by three area. And I showcased these long time ago, very popular. And there's actually a couple of them here. There's actually one, two, three, four of them right in the small area. This is also where we can build up our new storage system. We can put in like some automatic concrete converters here or cobblestone generators, cool stuff like that. But before we go ahead and start breaking the bedrock, we need to turn on the switch, which is the cool little device that we made to allow it so dragon eggs can instantly fall to the ground and break bedrock in front of our eyes without having to use lazy processing chunks. Go ahead and head out there. I'll show you guys how fast it is actually to get out there. You just go in here, throw a pearl like that, and then you uh, use this next portal, this one here, just stand in it and throw a pearl. Yeah, just like that, you are at the location. Uh, this is the portal that takes you there, so we just walk into it. And this is where the switch is at. So we wait until this autosave detector activates. Okay, so it went off a second time. Now what we have to do is just turn this up and on, reset that, activate this. Now it should be working if we get a piece of sand and we drop it, instantly falls. Haha, <laughs> magic. Okay, let's go break some bedrock. Oh yeah, and getting back is really easy too. Just throw a pearl like that. And then you go to this portal, throw a pearl like that. And then this portal, you just go inside of it. And yeah, this pretty much takes us all the way back to our another hub instantly. So you can go like 6,000 blocks out and then another hub is right here. Pretty awesome. We can actually break bedrock right uh, inside of spawn chunks too. Pretty crazy. If you guys do enjoy what I do here, and would like to support me, I do have a Patreon page. I have a lot of really nice rewards there. And we're gonna be opening up a Patreon and Twitch sub server. So you guys can join me as we play a new type of extreme sky block called Proto Sky. And it's going to be a nether sky block that's super extreme. And I'll explain more about it in an upcoming video. I will be making videos about this on my channel. So if you guys would like to participate in a Let's Play episode with me, this is a great way to do it. You can find those links down below. So we're here in our spawn chunks on the Proto SFP server. And we found a location where there is a 3x3 three three bedrock. Uh, we do have some redstone going on top of it, which goes to... The sand generator, which is off in that direction, that's our entrance end portal, also goes to um, the end dimension loader. There's a special device that does that. So we will move this. It's not really being used currently, but you can see the 3x3 three three right here. Um, it's not a Y level 4, which is ideal. This is the highest one. Those are quite rare. It is a 3x3 three three Y level 3. So we can easily move the redstone around. Uh, we can easily break bedrock. So if I just drop an egg like this, it breaks that bedrock. But yeah, I need to be really careful not to click on it more because it could break bedrock that I don't want to have broken. We gotta break it using pistons. So there's our three by three. But we can try to protect it by just placing blocks on top of it. So we accidentally click on any dragon egg, it'll break this block instead of breaking the actual bedrock. Not only am I gonna break um, right like the blocks on top as well as probably underneath, I also want to break a little bit around it. I don't know how much I should break around it. This is inside spawn chunks, so like bedrock and spawn chunks is pretty useful in general. We actually have a secret um, vault inside of our spawn chunks, which is quite rare. Um, one of the members actually wrote a program that can find special bedrock formations. <laughs> and yeah, it actually finds a vault inside the bedrock, which is cool. We actually save stuff inside there. Let's clear a little bit more around here. 
And I think I might break at least three blocks around. If I had three blocks on each side, it would give us enough room to kind of like build pistons and stuff. Because we could use it for a couple different things. We could put a cobblestone generator right here. It generates cobble and gets broken by the wither. Um, we could do like a concrete. We could actually have concrete like come in from end dimension and like fall down here and be pushed over here and broken up by wither automatically. So stuff like that, which we could use it for. So maybe three, maybe I go out five. I guess there's really no reason why not to make it bigger. Okay, so we got an area marked out. We're gonna do five blocks out from the center or from the edge of the wither cage bedrock. There's a three by three there. And we're gonna break bedrock. It's actually pretty darn easy. We're probably going to do it kind of row by row, but no one has ever done this type of bedrock breaking before. So we're just gonna have to give it our best. I'm just going to place some blocks here and we want to go all the way down to Y level zero. I want to break that bedrock. Be careful not to click on the eggs. So if I just drop an egg here, it breaks that bedrock. Drop here, breaks that bedrock. But I can't, I don't really want to click on that. Um, something like this. I click here, break that. <laughs> Pretty crazy to watch bedrock break in front of your eyes. So I broke pretty much everything I can from here. Now I have to remove the, remove these eggs. I could like do something like this where I break that and then it goes down to the next layer. But it does it does pay to remove uh, the stone. If you remove the very bottom, it'll go right through the world. So it's good to remove any stone ahead of time. Keep that in mind. To break this, I might just use pistons, buttons. Maybe I can put like a little fly machine here. Yeah, see how I broke all the bedrock there? <gasps> see, I accidentally clicked that. Now it probably flew off and probably did some damage somewhere. I'm not sure where it went. Bit scary. We can drop egg there, break that one. Um, I'll probably leave the very, very bottom there. So we broke all the bedrock there. So I think it does pay to remove all the stone that we can see ahead of time. Let's see if we can break the rest of this. Guys, went ahead and we broke all the bedrock around here, four blocks away. All the bedrock left is actually underneath of here. And we can kind of do that in a roundabout way. We have to set up um, some headless pistons, but we can actually break that bedrock as well. I think that's what we might try to do next. We're going to attempt right. to make this a headless piston in real time. Never okay. been attempted before. See, so I'm going to click the egg here. Yeah, I don't know if, world. Can, can you see if I place the egg like up here? Can you actually see that egg? Uh, I should be able to, yeah. I don't see why not. Okay. And then you flick the lever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't click on the egg. Otherwise, it's going to cause problems. So the first attempt did not work. So... Wait, what if I get off of it and on it again? Oh no! <laughs> okay, we'll leave this piston here. We're gonna go through a lot of sticky pistons. I got this. I'll, I, uh, That's not instant, is it? No. It seems pretty instant. What? What just happened? <laughs> oh, you broke the head and then it broke the piston, I think. Like, it was a bit too late. <laughs> what just happened there? Okay, guys, so we got the setup. Now there is an extra game tick between the top because it takes a little bit of time for the egg actually decides to start falling. And we also got hooked up to here. So this is seven delay on the side and six delay on this side. Extend that. Voila. Headless piston. We just have to keep this one powered. I'll put a lever there. And that. And that egg down into the void. Now we can do the same thing right here. I guess that, that that's fine there. Extended. Mm, I'm about to move this lever. Move the lever. Over that, the egg there, do that, hey, two headless pistons. <laughs> mm. 
now we should be able to hook this up correctly. All we want to do is put a normal piston there, facing upwards. Is this one powered? Oh yeah, it's still powered. We need to keep that one powered until we are ready for it. I guess I put a lever here. Move that. Can we move that? A little bit of connection here. Okay, that one that one retracted. That's fine. Now we need a comparator. Uh, this is some setup that we did in our crater world. We used to break Ben Rock. Hopefully it still works. Are those two? We put a normal piston in like this. And yeah, I think everything is powered. The timings are correct. Should be able to remove that and there's a bedrock block right here and if we put that, that hey it broke the bedrock so i guess we could do it that way can't think of any other way unless we can somehow figure out how to manually make these headless like we get really skilled at placing in pistons but we can also do it this way too to do the bottom one it's a little bit trickier this setup kind of works just for this level here. To give this a try. Yeah, that also works. Okay. That works. And we can put a sticky piston in this direction. And do it again. Hey, we got two sticky pistons. I don't know. Yours might be easier. You go in vertically. Nothing covers up so much of the screen. Now what we just have to do is remove that. Want a you want this thing to I only want that one extended. This one wait. Want this one point in the same direction as where I want to break. How are those? I want to extend this. That Update that one. Like so. And I think we need to put a block here. Now we remove this. And this should work. Hey, it worked. Broke the bedrock that was here. Awesome. We got another one set up. We break that in there and then we um power that one put this piston in i guess we actually want to put the power source here do the same thing to this one break that one then we break where these eggs we power both of them extend this again uh, we put a piston here, put a piston here, a sticky block there. Remove this power and that one, and then we retract. Oh, this still does not break it. Really? So if it's directional, this one might work. Yay! Broke the bedrock. Okay, so it looks like north to south work. Okay. Then we want to flick the switch. I'll watch it. Hey! Broke the bedrock. <laughs> That's a lot of pistons. <laughs> the new Y0 bedrock breaker, my dude. I, I leave for a couple minutes and this is what happens. Question is, has this actually broken any bedrock? Um... Not done yet. <laughs> <It's not done> <laughs> <yet>. <laughs> I, I guess there's still one bedrock we could break that's on the edge. You guys want to break that one there? I'll go to the <laughs> next location. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm, I keep getting stuck in this mess.
came up with a new bed art breaking uh, setup that we're using. So this one's a little bit easier to do. Uh, we just put in some redstone blocks here, some slime blocks just like there, and then we um, will have a piston back here. Sticky piston. And we just put eggs when we actually first part this. And put some eggs on top of that. There and there. And we just pull this lever and it's gonna make those headless. Pretty cool to watch. <laughs> and then um yeah, then we don't have to do pretty much anything else. We just put in our normal pistons. One here. We also put one over here. Like so. These guys are also working on one right beside me. Yeah, that's really much pretty much all there is to it. Really simple. And then all we do is power it. Uh, I guess I can power from this side so you guys can see. Watch that bedrock. Voila! Broke the bedrock. So yeah. I think this is going to be a new method to do these kind of side ones. It's so much easier than what we're doing before, which was already easy, so got considerably easier. We got Nudris, or we got um, Extra and Lenric over here helping us. Power that. Eggs there. Unpower that. Okay, then we need to put in a piston facing away. We need to remove these eggs. On well, the bottom ones, the eggs kind of sit there. Otherwise, they go right through the bedrock, which makes it easier. That piston goes that direction. This piston goes in this direction. Line block there. Like so. And then to build a break in that bottom rock there. <laughs> that is amazing to watch. Big brain. That's actually kind of cool to watch it also make headless pistons, so if I retract this it comes through, replaces the heads, and then it goes on and just goes right through the bedrock. Power this... A lot. I can't. Did you try out the new method, Extrata? I think it's a lot easier. You did? Cool. You're gonna make these headless by pushing an crystal and it's gonna blow up. Oh, we need a brewing stand. Oh, okay. Oh, why didn't you tell me that when I was at the... <laughs> you use something besides the brewing stand? Oh, should I stand far away? <laughs> should I stand? <gasps> oh, that scared me so bad! <laughs> I didn't know you were going to blow it up right then. Did it blow up the... <laughs> that was so funny. I literally... I literally shook so bad. My mouth moved. I'm going to power it. That almost killed me. That was scary. Okay, so then it looked like there's blocks here, but there weren't. They were just fake ones, ghost blocks. I want to make sure there's keep it powered. Okay, you can leave these redstone blocks in the back. I can use those. All we have to do is pull it from pull from here. Oh, Lenark's fixing the water. Uh, do you want to bud that one? And then I think I remove the power underneath. Oh, just wait. I think if he blocks the water, it's gonna update again. So let's, let's wait until he removes all the water first. Maybe, maybe, maybe just hold on a sec. Second, so uh, then we're, let's just do this. We'll do it really quickly. Uh, okay. So remove the redstone blocks there. There's bedrock there. If we remove, the power this and remove it. Power. Move it. Awesome. That worked. I think that might be, yeah, it's probably easier than what I was trying to do. How many wither cages are you gonna make? You want me to. Oh. Um, we're going inside the spawn trunks. I think there's like five here. See, if the spawn trunks get bigger and new versions, we can actually go out bigger, large area, making more withers. Oh, I wanna stand farther away this time. <laughs> Dang, it almost still almost killed me. <laughs> These, if I just need to right click them, right? Okay, you right click them. Let's go with blocks. I want to keep, keep them powered. 
We gotta make sure to put this sticky piston on the same side as the bedrock. And then we power it. Oh, you need to put any other pistons too, I guess. Okay, you wanna remove the, the power? Move this. Hey, we broke the bedrock. <laughs> awesome job, guys. Now we'll just do the other ones. I wanna try mine one time. <laughs> just to see if it works. Just to see if it works. Um, Five endstone. One, two, three, four, five. And there's an inner crystal here. So there. The three plus bees, we can see it. Like that. We just power this. Oh, it didn't work that time. This one's not consistent. Power. There. <laughs> Put it deeper down before the water removes it. So, I mean, it might be a little bit easier, kind of. Kind of more understandable how to do it. Hang there. Depower that. Make a headless. So this actually does work. Breaking bedrock. Which is pretty cool. So we just move this one. This redstone block here is actually going to update all of these at the same time and break that bedrock over there. Uh, so if I just give ahead and give this a power, watch that bedrock block. <laughs> bedrock block. And right there just got obliterated. Awesome guy. Good jobs guys. Uh, let's move on to the next one. To the next one. Let's go ahead and break this bedrock. Um, I'll do it from the side so I can see it. Click the lever. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, it actually gets updated when they move, which is weird. Which should be too second late. Second one seems easier but... to use. Which we call the second one. <laughs> oh, you, you, the, the one we're using endstone. The other one we're not using endstone. I mean, this is pretty simple. It's just more blocks you have to juggle. I don't want to die. Yeah, pretty good if we're back here. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't work. Blame somebody. I'm watching. Hey, it worked. Cool. We just keep finding easier and easier ways to break bedrock. <laughs> I'm ready. Ooh, more bedrock broken. Awesome.
It's five cages. Yay! So that's the last cage. All the bedrock was broken. That wasn't too difficult. We got smarter as we worked along. We did it, guys. We broke bedrock using dragon eggs inside of spawn chunks. It shouldn't be possible, but yet we found a way to do it. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we got one other cage there. We got one over here. This was a really good one. It's right underneath of our world spawn point, which is right there where that redstone block is. That's a shulker shell shulker there. That's going to be really good for easily transporting stuff from the nether over. Uh, we went ahead. We also have one over here. This is kind of towards the edge of our spawn chunks. The blue is anti-processing and then that green and yellow is lazy processing. Like we said, our spawn chunks are going to get bigger in the future when we upgrade to like 1.14. They're like 20 by 20. So that'll make it so we can have more entity processing chunks. And over here, this one is just on the edge of not being loaded. So this is lazy processing. But this one will work, like I said, in the future. It's always good to have the wither as well as any entities he's trying to track in the same chunk. So if we want to, we can actually put a chunk loader here. We can choose to load this or not load this. So we can either turn on or off the cobblestone generator or whatever else we have here. So we'll clean up this area probably later, but it's just good to have this bedrock broken before we update. We won't be able to do it anymore. There's also one way over here. This one is uh, in entity processing. So in total, we have five bedrock cages or withers inside of our spawn chunks, which is a lot. That'd be very helpful to have these in the future. We did test these in 1.16 and these cages still work. It's really amazing to have another big major milestone completed in 1.12 as when we upgrade to newer versions, we won't be able to easily break bedrock using dragon eggs or even inside of our spawn chunks. It's gonna become much, much harder. We definitely wanna take advantage of this while we can. So it's great that we took advantage of this and did all the bedrock cages around our spawn chunks while we could. Next up, we're gonna be using this to break a lot more bedrock in the 2000 block long perimeter over here. So you guys get that to look forward to but that's gonna be it for today guys thanks so much for joining me as i have fun in survival Bye bye